The world is a crazy place. 2018, very different. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper is in the same movie. Lady Gaga is an actress now. Well, it's not even the first movie of hers, which is crazy. She provided us a new soundtrack. I could have been reacting to that track. Lil Wayne resurrected, came back with his new album, The Carter Five. Long awaited ass album. Finally dropped. I could have react to that. Break time from the music. Let's talk about other events. Yesterday, uh, actually day before yesterday, on September 25, Will Smith, uh, used to be a musician by the way as well actually, uh, but more famous for his movies, did a bungee jumping on Colorado, <laughs> uh, not, on, not on Colorado, what was it? Grand, Grand Canyon, but anyway, it was in the Grand Canyon, he was bungee jumping, he had an incredible view, um, he conquered his fear and he did it, uh, and streamed it on YouTube uh, Originals live. That was an historic event, it was the first time uh, ever, you know, a person was bungee jumping from there. That was incredible to watch. September 26th, the next day. I had my birthday <laughs> that day, yesterday, uh, and the same day with Lily Sink, Superwoman. September 27th, a um, bunch of different songs drops in one night, including Logic's new album. In the same week, we also got Lana Del Rey songs, Venice Beach, and other uh, long ass. <laughs> name I don't remember at this point <laughs> but I could have been reacting to those either yeah. also there is Avril Lavigne who also resurrected <laughs> in 2018 she has not been in the music industry for such a long time but she dropped a song and it even uh, went to number one on iTunes for a little bit before Lady Gaga came in with, with her uh, new song we could have react to all these songs, but what we are choosing to react to today? Love <laughs> with Julia Michaels. <laughs> I don't remember the, no the name of the song actually. Uh, let me actually really ch uh, just check. There is no way, and honestly, there is there would have been no way for me to react to this song. I would choose other song to react to. You know, when there is a bunch of albums and songs to react to you know I have to choose what I can what I will react to because like I cannot do reactions to every single one right um, physically impossible I'm sorry <laughs> but the reason I, I'm choosing to react to laughs new song is because uh, I promised to react to Laugh's song uh, when he comes out with a new track uh, to one of my subscribers and I'm tired of uh, not keeping up to my promises, you know, like there are people who asks me to react to something and I don't fucking react to it. So I'm tired of bullshitting you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really feel sorry. That's why I gotta react to this. Love song. Love? Love or love? <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I respect this guy. Uh, this guy. I'm pretty neutral on him though, to be honest. Uh, there is a song, of course, which blow, blew up last year. Uh, I like me better. I don't even remember the lyrics at this point, but it was like a really uh, popular song uh, worldwide. 500 million streams on Spotify only. On Spotify, I didn't even check on iTunes or YouTube numbers. Uh, also huge, probably. And uh, uh, the dude is known for really minimalistic, but nice, soulful tracks, uh, electronic tracks. Again, uh, I'm pretty neutral, I don't get excited when Love drops new track, but I, I do check out what he uh, comes up with, you know, like there's a track, Paris in the 
Rain in, in Paris, something like that. Rain in Paris, uh, I, uh, I did like it as well. And um, on the other hand, we have Julia Michaels. Julia Michaels, also, I've been pretty neutral on her too. That's why I, I would have not react. I usually react to people who I'm like really passionate about, excited about. Uh, but there's no disrespect towards this artist. Um, by the way, I have this new uh, invisible aligners, that's why it's kind of harder to, for me to speak now. I should have removed them before the video, but anyway, don't worry about it. Uh, I, will, I will do it um, in the pause um, while I'll be reacting to the song. So, Julia Michaels, there's a songs, there's, there are songs I like, actually. Um, the feature she did on Clean Bandit record. I miss you. Yeah. I miss you. Great song. It was a really great song. Uh, also, there was a track with Maroon 5, Help Me Out. Also, really love that track. Uh, I will, I'm specifically not mentioning the track uh, Issues because I really hate that <laughs> record, honestly. I didn't want to say it, uh, but I said it. I'm sorry, but I don't like that track. But again, Julian Michaels is a good artist still. So, so <laughs> I said everything, let's finally give it a listen. There is no way. First reaction. Let's go. Okay, invisible aligners, they're not there anymore, <laughs> as I said. Uh, there is no way, let's go. Is this a love song? Yeah. Really nice, actually. Really nice. Okay. With the way we're looking at each other, but maybe we could hold on for one sec, so we could keep this tension in check. With the way we're looking at each other, instrumental behind. I wish I could make the time stop, so we could forget everything. Okay. I'm loving what instrumentals are doing behind the vocals and the vocals like, of course are really passionate incredible performance so far yes yep come on Like we knew that there would be history, but there's no way that it's not going to get up. Actually pretty impressed I really loved it uh, by the way <laughs> I wanted to show off again my legendary pajamas at this point when we dance we are dancing at night with pajamas <laughs> on our buttons <laughs> okay <laughs> like this is a tradition of this channel like this should be <laughs> uh, and also the board by the way yeah it's it's also back um, I, as I said before on uh, David Guedes uh, video uh, I wanted to bring back the boards and have them uh, more often in my bag. So, yeah. I, uh, what do you think about that love sketchboard? Hopefully you like it. Let me know in the comments below. So, the track. Really impressed. Really nice. Julian Michaels. Mwah! Vocal performance is outstanding. Love the way he sang. I, I'm impressed because, like, I... I... I mean, I don't want to say that, like, because I haven't heard all of his tracks or all of his music, you know, like, but I haven't heard him like that before. Maybe it's just me, maybe I was not paying attention or whatever, but, but like, he took, like, his vocals were just better, and, like, the way he sings, the style of singing, the manner, you know, the way he sings, like, it was just different in my, for my taste. I don't know if that was the case because I, I really don't want to say something and then and suddenly it, it's wrong you know like maybe he did already sing like that before but um, yeah for me like I really enjoyed it really enjoyed it I can easily give it 7 out of 10 easily 
um, also I hope that this is gonna be in the radio we're gonna listen to it on the radio hopefully um, it's gonna be on the charts because we need more pop um, on the radio like even though as I said I love hip-hop but <laughs> hip-hop is becoming so much on the radio stations or like it just in worldwide like um, on top charts like usually you see hip-hop records rather than pop records and I don't really enjoy that fact because like we just don't get enough pop these days if you go to the pop playlists like you know the best tracks of pop like hits of pop you know um, you don't get uh, quality like high quality tracks like you used to before like just remember 2013 let's say for example uh, in just in that summer let's say you had wake me up by Avicii you had get lucky by Daft Punk you had blurred lines by Robin Thicke you had work hard play hard they get a Akon you had um, radioactive radioactive was popular as, as well at that time still by Imagine Dragons you know like hit, hits like huge global nice hits really dope songs you know but now you don't have that and this track is a high quality track you I want this kind of track circle around more in mainstream so that it's gonna be more versatile so it's not gonna be only hip-hop and like this trap beats you know even though I enjoy listening don't mean I'm wrong again I, I enjoy listening I use listen to hip-hop all the time I just I just want good old pop to be there as well you know and I like what love is doing here um, and that's my opinion on it thank you guys so much for watching this video hit the like button if you like this video uh, subscribe to this channel and please your please let me know um, what other songs you want me to react to what um, what do you think about love do you like him uh, or not tell me about him more because I'm I don't really know him that much brother I need to call that anyway I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> goodbye